back to my channel. My name is Lindsay Vaughn. If you don't know me, I am a business coach and social media influencer. Today we're going to be talking about brands and how to build your brand. You know, I've I've grown a few different companies, a travel agency to a photography company, and I also help a nonprofit with social media and I have some other clients that I do social media for and so I really just wanted to come on here today and talk about how to define your brand and what it means to have a brand. I on this channel talk about social media, photography and travel and building your brand and marketing tips. So today we're going to be talking about building your personal brand. In this episode we will be going over the basics of building your own brand and diving into the specifics of creating your own name, creating your own brand, your logo, all of that stuff. So let's go for it. So first and foremost on building your brand is you have to define your personality. So when you define your personality, you have to put a handle on what that is. So it's time for you to decide who you are, what you want to do, what niche you want to be in, defining your purpose of your business, defining your purpose of your personality and yourself, defining what you want to do. So as we talk about in marketing, like you can't just be super, super broad on what you want. You have to niche down. And so for me, I work mainly with nonprofit social media companies and people that work in the nonprofit realm. But I know and have some friends, you know, do social media for bigger companies like restaurants, other brands, lifestyle brands, you know, athletic wear, those types of things. So you have to break down on what you want your personality to be. Next is what is the first impression that people get with your brand? So are you a super moody brand that does like moody clients and works with has like a very black and white website or are you bold and colorful and have you know orange and blues and reds like in your in your brand right off the bat what comes across to your customers what is the first impression you want to make are you fun carefree are you very reliable trustworthy the difference you know between a lawyer brand and a dog food company is very different so you have to figure out you know, in your niche or niche, however people want to say it, what you want your brand to be. I enjoy this process you know, of taking time on figuring this out. I have created a, a personal brand guide that I'm going to drop down in the notes for you guys. It's a free download so you can go through this video and go through this plan that I'm talking with and you can always email me and if you have any questions about your your brand plan, uh, let's move forward, let's keep going. So the next thing is coming up with a strategy to define your personality. Think about how you want to interact to people on social media, how you wanna interact with people in person. Do you want them to feel excited? Do you want people to be happy? Do you want people to, be inspired by your brand? Do you want to help people? What is your tone of voice when you talk about your brand? What is the aspect that you want people to know about your brand? So with my photography company, my photography company has been a wedding photography company for a very long time. I recently just rebranded it to a branding and you know, coaching more influencer aspect of photography. But for the longest time, I, you know, on my website, I use the word love. I use, you know, more of the wedding terminology for photographers. So it was more of a very lovey, trustworthy, like this is what, you know, how the experience goes as a wedding photographer. But wedding photographer and brand photographer are two different things. You market two different ways. And to be able to have the brand voice of both of those, you know, like I could use the same colors, I could use the same name, use the same logo, but I've got to switch up wording on my website and I've been able to do that. And, 
You know, you, you really have to think about your niche and what you want first and foremost before you start building a website, before you build uh, your logos and colors and all of that stuff before you just dive in on your brand. So this planner and template that I am giving you for free is going to really help you out. So when it comes to that strategy, you have to think about email copy and social media copy and blog posts that you want to use and product descriptions as well after you come up with your personality and your niche. So your niche and personality are first and foremost, and then you come up with the strategy. Then you're gonna wanna think about a, a name and your online brand, how you build that online brand. The first thing you need to do is when you come up with this name is check to make sure you can get a website. You know, like some sometimes the name's already been used. So check that. You also want to make sure it's not hard to pronounce or spell because if it's hard to pronounce or spell, people are gonna spell it wrong all the time and that's gonna hurt you in marketing. Um, your marketing traffic is going to a different website that is not the same. So make sure it's easy to say, make sure it's easy to pronounce and spell and make sure that it's also like creative enough that you stand out. Like you don't want just something that is boring. Who wants boring names? No one in these days, day and age. So make sure that it stands out in the crowd, stands out for, you know, people like I said, my, my photography business is called Wild Onyx Photography. That's very random, but it's very easy, you know, to spell. It's very easy to say. When I started my photography business, no one else had a Wild Onyx Photography business. It was easy to get it you know, social media accounts and, and a website. So, you know, be creative, go outside of the box. You know, some people like to use their name for photography businesses, which is totally fine. That's, that's totally fine. But if your name is like Ashley Smith, there are a lot of Ashley Smiths. So, you know, it'd be a little hard to differentiate between who is which. So think about that. Think about your name. Next is Developing a strategy with your brand identity, you have to have your voice in place and start building your strategy. So the first step is to define who you want to reach and who you want to talk to and how you'll do it. Like I said, with this planner that I that I have and that is in the notes below for you guys, uh, it's just a good workbook for you to go through and I talk about these things and there are notes section where you can write down things. And then I am also going to be coming out later this week with my business resource template shop. So you can find that at www.lindsayvon.net and that's going to be a whole shop for business owners like you. There's going to be wedding photography pricing guides. There's going to be regular photography pricing guides. There are gonna be brand workbooks. This brand workbook that I'm talking about now is gonna be on there. I'm gonna have marketing plans, business plans for you guys that you can buy and download and use them. And then later on other episodes of my channel, I'll be discussing those specific things and we'll work through them together. So this whole channel is gonna be working through what I am creating for you guys. So having the templates and then they're also going to be free templates. Uh, please sign up for the newsletter. That way you guys can get some of the freebies that I'll be sending out every Friday to everybody. But just a little plug on the shop. But let's get back to talking about developing a strategy. So when you develop your strategy for your brand, you have to create goals for yourself. And these goals have to be essential. But they also have to be SMART goals. So I don't know if you guys know what that is, but they have to be achievable. You cannot say, oh, in my first year, I want to make, you know, X amount of money, but you haven't made anything. Like that, that doesn't work. Like you have to make sure they're achievable for you and they're not just outlandish. So I can't just say like, oh, I'm starting a travel agency or a photography company and I will make, 
X and not have a plan, not have a strategy and think that I'm gonna make that money. That just doesn't work. I hate to burst your bubble, but it just doesn't work. So you only can make money if you have a strategy. So we have to create this strategy. I do offer social media coaching where you guys can get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me and we can go over your branding and your social media accounts and kind of have an audit where it is done for you and we can work on what you need for your business. That you can send me an email for and I'll put the email in the notes so where you guys can send an email if you want to do an online coaching session. Would love to talk to you and help you guys out. That's why I'm here. That's why I do this YouTube channel. I have had so many people ask me just to do this YouTube channel because I have so much knowledge of all these different businesses that I've started. So use me, you know, get the help that you can. Back to developing strategies. So your business may be, you know, in the one, one goal. You know, we need a few goals. We don't need just one. We need like two or three, but we don't need 10. So, you know, like we have to make sure they're achievable and that you, you can obtain them. Um, starting out in my year of business, I started out with three month goals, six month goals, nine month goals, and the year goals. So I have done that for my goals, but I also write like week goals. Like I have a notebook and a journal that I'm like, okay, this week I wanna get this, this, and this done. So start small and then work big. That way, don't work big and then start small. You get stuck that way because you can't achieve things. So working small to big is the best. There is a checklist that is on the planner that talks about the months and then weeks on what you want. So it's very good for your goals and you can write it down there. The next thing about defining your personal brand is choosing a platform. So some people only work with one platform, which could be YouTube, which could be Pinterest, which could be Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, whichever, and then work their way with building content that way. I do suggest that if you start with one platform, start with that one platform first and then work your way on choosing others because you don't want to overwhelm yourself with creating content first and foremost. So like you don't want to just put everything on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. That's the same. You want different content. You want to have different you know, reels and things like that going on on Instagram. And, you know, LinkedIn is more like business focused. And so you want different content for those different platforms. And I can obviously talk with you offline about those different platforms and what's best for you. If, if you want to, you know, send me an email, that's totally fine. But just figuring out what platform you want to use and what how you want to gain your readers, how you want, you know, if you're a writer, then uh, writing a blog would be good. You know, like if you're really into writing, doing a blog first would be really great and pulling people with your SEO and, you know, writing on the blog platform daily or weekly, that would be great. But if you are, you know, more on creating graphics or videos, you know, Instagram would pretty much be really good for you or Facebook one you know both of those would be really good for you so just figure out what you're really good at and then that can help you on choosing your platform start your your brand and business when you go back to talking about the right name for your brand is you need to think about first impressions the right name for your brand and like I said if people can spell it or pronounce it how to show and tell it so you want to inspire people do you want to be fun and bold like i said moody you know you need to figure out that and then you want your brand perception on thinking about your brand what you want other people to think about your brand what you want it to come across right off the bat when you introduce it what impression you want to make with people what 
type of pillar on, you know, like trustworthy, carefree, you know, like which, which pillar do you want your brand to be perceived as? So those are pretty important things on building your brand. I, you know, like I said, would be more than willing to meet with you and do a consultation on your business and just go over this plan with you guys. You can find it below in the show notes and I hope you guys have had a great day. I can't wait to talk to you later about some other business tips and some business resources. If you liked this content today, please be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye!